This is a list of characters on the Cartoon Network animated television series, Space Ghost Coast to Coast, which later moved to Adult Swim from 2001 to 2004, and then to GameTap from 2006 to 2008. Topic. Main characters Topic. Space Ghost Voiced by George Lowe, Space Ghost, whose real name is Tad Eustace Ghostel, was a superhero in the 60s. Though occasionally conflicted about whether saving the world or hosting a talk show best suits him, Tad genuinely wants to put on the best talk show he can. Unfortunately, his failings tend to get the better of him. He is childish, egotistical, and petty, and he remains generally oblivious to his surroundings. He has little regard for the well-being of others and often demeans his sidekicks and guests. In an interview with Conan O'Brien, Space Ghost announces that he has always been dead and was never a spaceman. I was dead long before you were born, Conan, and I'll be dead long before you're dead. Space Ghost appears in almost every episode, with the exception of Pilot and Hipster, both from season 4. Topic: <laughs> Zorak. Voiced by C. Martin Croker, Zorak Roberts is the band leader and a mantis-like alien known for his hatred of Space Ghost. Extremely evil, he once ate his own nephew. He is a virgin, largely due to the fact that he does not wish to be eaten by his mate after intercourse, as is normal for mantises. He has no remorse, feels no pity, and acts only to meet his own ends. He was Brack's childhood friend. His superhero persona is Batmantis. Though Space Ghost's prisoner, Zorak retains his membership in the Council of Doom. He claims he is either a locust or a mantis, but he often changes his mind. In episode 97, Al, it is revealed that Mr. Pong Alan Alcorn, is Zorak's father. He also co-hosted Cartoon Planet and currently hosts a revival of this series with Brack. Topic. Moltar Voiced by C. Martin Croker, Moltar is the show's director and producer. His body is made entirely of lava, and he normally wears an orange and gray full-body containment suit which has a breathing receptacle. By far the most competent and level-headed character, Moltar sometimes tends to be smarter than he seems. He tends to be very good friends with Zorak, even though Zorak doesn't have the same feelings for him. He is a big fan of Chips and its star, Eric Estrada. Moltar made a brief appearance in Cartoon Planet where he, Zorak and Brack got into a fight until Space Ghost sent him and Zorak to their rooms. Moltar would later become the fictional producer for Cartoon Network's action animation block Tanami in 1997, before being replaced by TOM in 1999. In the original 1966 Space Ghost series, he was voiced by Don Messick, his name was alternately spelled Moltar and Malta, and his clothing was alternately white and yellow. Moltar has made an appearance in the Cartoon Network special, The Big Game 28. Topic: <inaudible> Recurring characters. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Brack. Voiced by Andy Merrill, Brack is a somewhat cat-like teenage alien with large fangs who, although a villain, is the least threatening one on the program. 
He appeared on SGC2C periodically, often with the Council of Doom, of which he was a member, and was often victimized by Space Ghost or the other villains. Brack had hijacked SGC2C once in the episode, Jerk, wanting the audience to hail him, doing the intro and even the music much to Ghost's embarrassment. He also co-hosted Cartoon Planet and currently hosts a revival of this series with Zorak. Topic: <laughs> Transit. Voiced by Don Kennedy, Transit is an overweight and cowardly man in an orange costume and helmet. His outfit makes him appear much more menacing than he actually is, but fails completely at hiding his gut. He replaced Moltar as director of the show twice, and messed it up. His biggest fear is getting zapped by one of Space Ghost's rays. He is a member of the Council of Doom. For about half the episodes of season 4 he announced the show off-screen until he was fired by Space Ghost. Topic: Loka. Voiced by Andy Merrill, Loka is an erudite, giant hominid locust who is prone to violent outbursts and speaks in a British voice. Loka seems to harbor a grudge towards Space Ghost and constantly seeks his destruction, perhaps more for his boorishness than anything else. He is also in a long-running feud with Zorak. Loka is a member of the Council of Doom, though he's not so much evil as a snob. The episode, Pilot, revealed that he was originally going to be the band leader of the show instead of Zorak, but Zorak was hired instead when Birdman, having been continuously insulted by Loka, had his Hawk Avenger attack him, something that hospitalized him. Topic. Chad Ghostel Voiced by Brad Abel, Chad Ghostel is Space Ghost's evil twin brother, distinguished from Space Ghost in physical appearance only by a crudely drawn Van Dyke beard. He is a beatnik, with a love for jazz music and outdated beatnik slang, and is both extremely cool and evil. He is also quite the ladies' man. Chad is first mentioned in the episode Jerk where he calls into the show to tell Space Ghost he has escaped from the asylum and will be there shortly. Chad's first appearance on screen is in Switcheroo, where he uses his resemblance to Space Ghost to switch places with him, and again in Hipster, where he takes over the show after incapacitating Space Ghost. Topic. Harvey Birdman Voiced by Scott Finnell, Harvey Birdman was the host of the show in the episodes pilot and sequel. He also appeared on the sidelines during two other episodes. He appears to be washed up, and in a rut, alternately claiming to be unemployed. He then got a job as a lawyer in his own spin-off show Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Topic. Minor Metallus Michael Chu, a villain and member of the Council of Doom who can only talk in a reverb heavy metallic drone, rendering his every word incomprehensible, though other characters seem to understand him. He is a big metal guy with a blue vest and gloves, and he has a helmet with a large, presumably ornamental, wings. Since he can't talk normally, his personality isn't developed all that much. Black Widow Judy Tenuta, a villain who has professed love for Space Ghost, much to the chagrin of the other villains. She is known for her scream that irritates Space Ghost. She also appeared in Johnny Bravo as a guest star. Raymond C. Martin Croker Zorik's previously unheard of nephew. Space Ghost immediately took a liking to the cute miniature version of Zorak. 
Predictably, Raymond was eaten by Zorak before the end of the episode. He made appearances in two other episodes. The original Way Outs, the show's band, led by Zorak. The show has never explained their origins, in fact, very little attention is paid to them at all. The Sorcerer, a member of the original Way Outs with a large flesh-toned head and yellow eyes. He speaks on extremely rare occasions, as alluded to by Space Ghost in the episode Mayonnaise. When did you start talking? His name was revealed on the commentary for the episode Zoltron. Christie, the drummer of the original Way Outs. He never speaks, although he is frequently directly addressed by Space Ghost and Zorak. Bob Tom Arkuragi featured in the fourth season, he acts as the show's director telling them what they need to do and how to do it, but he was featured in episodes that take place before the series actually took place and started. See also Space Ghost Coast to Coast List of Space Ghost Coast to Coast episodes Topic. External links Space Ghost Coast to Coast Character Guide at AdultSwim.com